Now I've got this uh, cheap blue LCD from Chinese eBay. Um, and the nice thing about this one was this uh, Y was it I, YW Robots. Uh, the nice thing about this one is it's got an I squared C uh, controller on the back of it. Just sold on there, and it's got basically all it needs is ground five volts and your I squared C clock and data. So I've just been making up a, a new cable for this. And unfortunately, it's not the same pinout as the Matrix Orbital I squared C. Um, so I've used my some of my favourite tools, my automatic wire strippers, which I've had for many many years, have lasted forever, uh, and some, well these aren't official Molex but these are decent quality uh, ratchet Molex crimps very very useful for these pins uh, I'm actually running, running very low on these pins I've to, well I've actually ordered 500 from Farnell but they're on back order so I'm just waiting for those and I've also got uh, plenty of housings so I've made that up so let's go and uh, write some software and try it out and here's the industry standard hello world to prove that it's working fine now I've found what seems to be a fault or a flaw with this display. If I disconnect the power from the Arduino and then reconnect, the display initialises and the code doesn't run. To try again. No. The only way I seem to be able to actually do this is if I, from the Arduino software, basically re-download the software onto the Arduino so a reset will be performed after the download then the display works fine so let's just try again, just get the power nope it will not initialize unless for some reason you've actually just uploaded the code, let's do the upload again Hmm. So I'm going to have, to have a play around with this and I might have to have a word with the eBay seller and see if this is a problem. Okay, after doing some research it turns out that these YW robot LCDs might be a copy of these DF robot LCDs. Um, the DF robot site seems a lot more professional, you get better support, better software. Uh, it's only a couple of bucks more, so if you ever decide to buy one, you should probably go for the DF Robot ones instead. So anyway, I tried the software provided on the DF Robot site for download for their products, and amazingly, it worked straight away. So that kind of that proves at least electronically compatible. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's have a look at the LCD now, which which is working fine. So here's the LCD again, and we can remove the power and reapply the power and it will boot up fine and we can keep doing that so while the YW robots supplied files do not work properly the DF robot files do work with this LCD so I would recommend the DF robots uh, LCDs and software instead